Hey guys, it's Faye from Faye's World, and in this video, I'm going to show you Filmora 13's craziest, best AI features. If you're like me who have been using Filmora 12 for a little while now, well, welcome to 13. There are a lot of power AI features. We're going to cover four in this video. Number one is AI vocal remover. Literally, you can add any music with vocal instrumentals, whether it's a video file or audio only file, and then right click using Filmora's AI vocal remover feature. Instantly, it's going to divide the tracks into three, the full track as the original one, as well as the vocal only one and instrumental only track. It is absolutely crazy. I'm going to show you in just a second. Another favorite feature of mine is AI text-based editing. Exactly as a sound, you can now edit your entire video using text alone. Literally, you would just import the video file into Filmora 13. It will transcribe the video or you can right click on any portion of your video file and choose AI text-based editing. From there, you're able to tweak all these moments, phrases, and words the same way for some of you podcasters out there, like the way you're editing your podcast using Descript. Thirdly is AI thumbnail design. Filmora 13 is able to automatically grab these keyframes for you to leverage. With built-in templates, you can create thumbnails with a single click. And from there, you can basically change up the size of the imagery, add shadows, outlines, all those things that you wouldn't have to open up a third-party editor. Last but not least, Fumora 13's co-pilot. So it is a built-in chatbot. You can ask simple questions, but also more complicated ones, such as new features you want to explore, including the ones we're talking about in this very video. Fumora is able to walk you through step-by-step, -step, giving you detailed instructions. In some cases, you even open up the feature panel itself for you to get started right away. So there's so much I love to share with you in this video. And if you want to check out Fumora 13, please check out the link in the description below. And I can't wait to see you at the end of the video. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and just download music by one of my uh, dear friends, Tarek. And this is one of his latest single. And I'm going to just grab this link and use 4K video downloader. Just paste it right in. And here, if you're using it for the first time, I just want to let you know that you also have the choice to extract audio alone, so not just video. So let's go ahead and just do that. It only takes like a few seconds or so. And now I can go ahead and access this audio piece and drag that into Fumora, the timeline right here. Now, it's really incredible. Once it's there, as you can see, it's just audio. And you're going to hover over, right click on the timeline here, and then check it out. It's called AI Vocal Remover. Don't disconnect, don't click away. Now what it's trying to do is separating lyrics from the music. And why is this useful? Because some of you guys may prefer listening to music alone, or maybe you want to use, uh, you know, Tarek or other musicians' music as the background. Wanting to overlay, you know, perhaps just the music portion to some of his future videos, maybe talking head videos. All right, now that is done. It took about, you know, less than a minute or so. Now that single audio track has become three. Let me go ahead and, and show you the original, which is the first track right here. So now you can hear everything and let me just mute the second track and this is voice alone. Let's just mute Tarek's vocal and just hearing the music alone. Wow, I gotta say this feature really blows me away quite a bit. Really cool. I highly recommend that you explore this. Next, I really wanna show you the feature called AI text-based editing. So exactly as it sounds, now you can actually edit your video using text. This is very similar to Descript and Podcastle for podcasters. Let me just add a video real quick. So for example, this is my general Sanebox tutorial. And right here, it prompts you to uh, basically indicate, you know, what language it's spoken in. And now it's going to just grab the video and transcribe it all together. Anytime you want to use AI text-based editing, you can hover over any portion of your video or audio file, right click right there, AI text-based editing. 
and you can select the language and from there click on OK. And the conversion time has a lot to do with how long the video is. Check it out. So this process actually took about a minute or so. And now you're seeing this AI text-based editing panel. It's exactly as a look. So you can go ahead and, and just highlight and grab any amount of text. As you can see, it's also being selected in the editing panel uh, right now, this timeline down here. So let's say I want to get rid of the word so, or I want to get rid of this entire section here. It can be done. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and just export to the timeline. It is that simple, guys. And this part is so helpful. I absolutely love it because impossible. It's so much work to get down to specific phrases and words or the entire section. To be able to visualize that is incredible. One other feature I really want to introduce you to is right here. I wish it's bigger and more obvious, but it's kind of this brighter green color circle with an icon inside. And this is the very famous now Filmora Copilot. What I love about this is literally a chatbot built into Filmora. I am not someone with extensive video editing experience, you know, other than editing for YouTube for the past number of years, I was never really trained. So there's still a lot of things that I don't fully understand and or specifically inside Filmora, I don't know how to do. You know, I have to translate my knowledge from previously in Final Cut Pro to Filmora and I have to, you know, look up the help file or, you know, ask Google in general. Now you can ask your Filmora AI system right away. Like to start, you can ask, what is Filmora? Help me create beautiful landscape image. You can also upvote, downvote uh, these answers because it really help Filmora understand what is helpful. For example, Filmora now has a feature called AI image, allows you to do this and that. And if you want to read more, if you want to explore more about AI image, you can click on AI image and check it out. It immediately brings up this dialogue, which is still in beta to show you how it works. And I think this is super exciting. And not only it helps you to figure out what to do when you get stuck uh, in the editing mode, but also helps you explore new features that might help with your project inside Filmora. So right here, you can change the ratio if you want to. I like to stick to the 16 by nine. And here I wanna say um, at least 10 words, a description here that you can give it to AI image. You can include a description of the content, composition, color, detail. How about, um, in and here you can choose a style, ACG, hand-drawn. Let's see what we get. What do you think of these results, guys? It's pretty cute. You can also access AI image right here under stock media and under AI image. Let's go back to Copilot once again. How about how to remove sound from a scene or a clip? mute audio feature. You can, you know, have these shortcuts here. I think this is really awesome. What about uh, how to add transition? Inside Fumora, you can go to transition tab and choose a ver variety of transition types. So here you can even click on add transition. And if I remember correctly, now it's going to show you how that works. Now it's inside the same dialog box. You can even, guys, check it out here. You can even just tab, add, it's going to download the content and then it says, please select the clip in the timeline. In order to add a transition, I'm using the scissor icon to create a clip and then I can just add it right here. All right. Looks like something is happening. Now you can harness the power of AI to automatically transcribe. Oh, did you see that? That's kind of cool. Please let me know your favorite transitions inside Fimora. There's some really modern, cool ones that you can be playing with. Now, last but not least, take a look at thumbnail right here. So under project info here, you can click on thumbnail and now you can set a thumbnail. You know what's being generated here is that the AI feature from within Filmora is already identifying key scenes and key frames from your video. And it's gonna recommend what can be used as a thumbnail. Now, remember this video that I uploaded is actually a tutorial video. So now so much of me talking head or, you know, it's not really a vlog. I don't know how many of them are going to be super interesting. The ones being identified, so that one's kind of interesting, where I was talking about a feature using AI to really change up your image style or video style. So let's go ahead and say edit. I like this. And guess what? From here, you can download it directly or you can customize it further. You can save it as a template. You can choose a vlog style thumbnail. My image here, right? 
you can go back to your template if you like something better or you know how to maybe that's more my style for example i can double click on this one it will take a second to download and then i can say yeah replace with a new one look at that change it and you can scale it if you want to you can outline it um, and you can also change the outline size you can feather the edge if you want to there's just so much you can do even a drop shadow and whenever you're ready just click on save and your thumbnail is saved right there if you're a youtuber like me creating content online this is going to save you so much time for social media in particular i hope you enjoyed this video so far if you like it please follow our channel we have so much we'd like to share with you related to content creation and running your small business until next time thanks so much for watching